different to your interview today. Yeah, this is the third time I'm recording this. <sighs> it's been a long day. Okay, so today's video. Today's video is about how to make magic. Uh, you've seen it on my work. Uh, I've been doing it for my self portraits a lot, and you've been asking me how to make it. So this whole video, it's gonna be a tutorial, kind of like I'm gonna show you the technique. That's more accurate. I'm gonna show you the technique and you're gonna be able to achieve this, wait, this look and this, fuck, and this, this look. So one of them requires a pen tablet, the other one doesn't. And I'm going to show you both so you can choose whatever you can do on your own. So yeah, let's jump into a fresh document and I'm going to show you how to achieve a magic effect on Photoshop. In Photoshop, I don't even know anymore. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so first things first, let, let's select the color. Uh, let's do blue. Let's keep going with the blue. So I'm going to put the blue at mid saturation. I'm going to grab a soft brush because I'm going to try and use everything standard. So you guys can tell me like, oh my God, but you used a special brush. No, I didn't bitch. If you can't do it, you can't do it. You need practice. Okay. So I'm going to make it bigger. Uh, like 150 is fine. I have my pen pressures, uh, on. And I'm gonna just make a shape. That was not the shape I wanted. Let's do with the opacity and the flow on. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, that's our shape. Now, from here, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna lower the flow to about 75. 70 is fine. And I'm gonna leave everything else like it is. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start working on the curves and I'm going to build the curves to the visual I enjoy. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay. Now that I have a look that I'm happy with, I'm going to go to a fuller uh, so fuller saturation, a higher saturation, and I'm going to be making it a little bit bigger and changing the shape of it to an ellipse, ellipsis, ellipse, I don't know. And I'm just going to do like the corners of this, like over there, over here. Just very gently giving it higher saturation in some of the areas. Remember, saturation will pull your eye towards that area. So basically what I'm trying to achieve with this is make your eye to not look on to that area or eh this one or this one and just look at the curves because usually your subject would be right there in the middle of it okay i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna be right back okay now that i'm happy with that i'm gonna grab a soft brush again it's the normal one make it a little bit bigger go here into the mode of the brush and I'm gonna make it color dodge lower the color dodge to like 30 to 50 to 25 lower the flow to like 20 yeah 20 ish it's fine and click the little flow icon and I'm gonna start painting on the curves a little bit and you can even change like the size of the, the brush itself and I'm gonna just like make the magic bleed a little bit because in reality, I think this is my aesthetic, but like I think magic would bleed everywhere. So the light would be like all over the place. Okay, so now that we have our shape, our like base for everything, I'm gonna finish this with a almost white 
and I'm gonna drop the size of the brush to like a little, little, so little, little brush. Let's raise the flow a little bit. And you're gonna give it some highlights to make it really, really pop. To finish this off, you can make a very, very big brush, lower the opacity, color dodge. We gather every layer, we call control E to merge them all. Bam, bam. That was for a pen tablet user. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it without a pen tablet, just with your mouse and pen tool instead of the pen tablet. So let's jump into that. And yeah, so I'm gonna Grab the pen tool. I'm gonna grab the pen tool and make whatever path our magic is gonna take. I'm gonna do that. And let me maybe push this inward a little bit. Just adjust it a little bit so it looks a little better. I'm I suck with like the mouse one because I found this one after I already had a pen tablet. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good, but I know how to do it. <laughs> Okay, so this is our path, right? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to the brush, clean like every uh, setting I already had. I'm gonna make it um, 75 flow and everything else doesn't really matter. Uh, choose the color you want, grab the pen tool again. So right click stroke path and in stroke path you have like all the tools you can like paint slash erase with. So I'm gonna select brush, simulate pressure, Press OK and bam, we have like our shape. Now I'm gonna delete our shape, our path, and now we have this, right? I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna go to blur, Gaussian blur, and blur the edges, like blur it to the point where the edges don't really show up. So yeah, that's, that's perfect. Oh my God, what was that? I'm so sorry for that. Okay, so here I'm gonna go with my mouse and I'm gonna go grab a brush, make like a lighter uh, color. Control, click on the layer and create a mask for that. So as you can see, the mask is the same shape. And now I can paint inside of that. So I'm gonna paint white in the corners so we can like, Catch the eye of that. Do that. Okay. Now I'm gonna make little higher saturation lines here and there outside of the, the main shape per se. So it starts to create a weird like sense of like ghostly vibes kinda. Okay, from here, I'm gonna select both layers, control E. Now we have everything in the same layer. I'm gonna go filter, use the same, oh, not the same one, uh, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it just a little bit so you don't see like those harsh, harsh lines that we just did. Okay, that's good. And now I'm gonna duplicate this layer and we're gonna go to liquify and we are gonna have some fun with liquify. So I'm gonna grab the twirly twirlies and let's play with it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna press enter. Now we have a weird, like that weird, weird shape. So I'm gonna lower the opacity of down below from the previous layer, the original one. So it shows a little bit more of the new liquefied one. Create a layer mask. And I'm just gonna erase, whoop, erase some of the very extreme bits, like here and there. So it fits a little bit more to the original idea of the path.
Okay, that kind of looks good to me. I'm going to select two, the two of them and uh, merge them together. Control plus E. And now I'm going to click this little icon over here to um, it locks every transparent pixel. So now everything you do inside matters. Everything you do outside doesn't have any effect. So I'm going to raise that and just gonna paint here and there like to give it a little bit more saturation where it's missing it and I'm gonna grab the white as well and like do little tiny bits of just like white in the corners so it raises the focus on it and I'm almost at the front part so I'm gonna unlock the layer now with the high color and color dodge, lower the opacity, raise like the size of the brush to something that fits over your shape. And just like go ham with that, like paint whatever magic you want. Okay, that, that to me looks very cool. And one last thing you can actually do here is you can create a new layer and use the pen tool to like emphasize some bits. So let's say I want like a harsh wide highlight right there. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna select the brush, put it to normal, max everything in. Let's do like that big. Yeah. Select white and stroke path. Simulate that. Now I'm gonna delete the path. And we have that highlight right there and I'm gonna just erase it a little bit so it merges with what we have. It's for sure a different look, but uh, I did another example. Uh, so I did this one as well. This is more of a liquify, very like slim one. And yeah, you can do a lot of different effects with this technique. So if you liked the technique, if you liked the way I explain things, leave a like down below, subscribe to this channel, and in the comments, if you use this technique on one of your works, please leave your Instagram. Let me know um, where where you used it or send me, I don't know, your portfolio or something, and I would be happy to check your work using this technique. So yeah, uh, are you a fan of pen tablet or mouse? Like, I don't know. Let me know all of these things. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the whole just like I said, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.